What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So if you guys caught the last video, I was right. And uh, Cora had her puppies when I thought she was going to. So we are going to go out and take a look at them. I've got a couple cans of warm dog food that I warmed up on the uh, wood stove. It's, it's really cold. Um, this was something I never expected. I never expected her to have this many. I'm not going to tell you how many she had just yet, but a lot of you did guess right. Um, as of this morning, everything was okay with all the puppies, and um, it was a an event I will never forget. I will tell you that. Um, I will just tell you, um, well, just watch this footage right here while I'm getting this dog food ready. I'll let you guys see. I tried to record as much as I could on my cell phone because once she started having the puppies, I ran out there and um, I didn't even grab the camera. I just grabbed my cell phone and I was helping her out. So it happened all so fast. Well, part of it did. Anyways, enjoy this clip and uh, I'll get back with you guys as soon as I get the dog food. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's already having them. All right, Lisky, the time is here, buddy. All right, so Lisky is guarding Miss Cora and, um, I just walked out of the barn and went in the house and Cora got up and she went outside and she came right back in here and I heard her start crying on the camera and I come out here and uh, she's already got a little baby. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but she's doing a good job. She's already cleaning it off. I've got towels and stuff right here. At least he's the bodyguard. <laughs> So we weren't sure if she was going to use this whelping box or not, but sure enough, she come in here and I mean, it wasn't two minutes after she got back in here and she started having these babies. I've only seen one so far, but I just got back in here. So I'm not going to show nothing gory or nothing like that, but I will show you guys some puppies here in a little bit. And you can see, I know a lot of people was worried about Lisky being here and bothering her, but she's not worried about him one bit. So I got a white. Lisky, it's all right, buddy. Hey, it's all right. Lisky's not really sure what's going on either. It's okay, buddy. You just keep them goats out, okay? Mama's on her way in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get the skate shut. Just keep the goats out. So I see one dark little baby down there I don't know she might have more than one it's all right okay she's got one come here Lisky Lisky come here Lisky come on come here come here here come on Lisky come here come on let's come on let's give her her space buddy it's okay come here come on it's okay come on all right come on Cora. It's okay, baby girl. She's got this one cleaned off already pretty good. I think she's just nervous. It's okay. Lay back down, sis. Oh my gosh. Oh, the kids want to come out so bad, but I told them not to. Yeah, they want to come out. Here in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna turn the camera off, and we're gonna sit here and help her out what, how we can. Okay, so a little change of plans. Cora decided she didn't want to be in the whelping box, so uh, she came over here in the most awkward place she could possibly get and uh, made a little nest and it's been two hours and about 25 minutes since the first baby was born and she finally just popped out another one Let's see if you guys can see that so we were starting to get a little bit worried wondering if we should maybe call a vet but she finally started having contractions and the second one has come out um, we're not sure if the first one has been sucking for sure we've been trying to work with it a little bit and uh get it on a nipple and making sure it sucks but it's, it's kind of hard to tell because the position she's in over here is very awkward it's not the very best scenario but this is where she keeps wanting to go and uh, we tried to move her a couple times and she grabbed the baby and come back here so we're just gonna try to let her stay here and see if she can just keep having these babies looks like it's the same color as the other one Yep, so does the other one. Yep. 
but she's doing a good job as far as drying the babies off and keeping them warm um you guys know we had the heater in the box over there it's like i think it's 15 degrees right now so i went ahead and got a heat lamp and i brought it in here just to put it on her while we're out here i'm not going to leave it out here so hopefully whenever she has all the babies we'll get her put back in the whelping box okay literally just two minutes after i ended that clip she just pushed out another one so that's a good sign now we got number three so hopefully they just keep coming like that and she has a quick birth birthing you're doing good girl good job so i'm guessing baby number two may have been little backwards or just hung up or something but i'm pretty sure she's got three maybe four i can't even tell you can see a whole bundle of them there i think there's three yeah this is a bad spot you hear your babies at least come in hmm? you're daddy now he hasn't left her side. No, but she didn't want him too close. No, she did growl at him a few times. And she turned around. I don't know if there's another one in there or what's going on. The baby number two that come out, as soon as it come out, it latched on and I know it was stuck in it. It's done that twice now. The first one just hasn't latched very mm -hmm. strong. Okay. So let's oh again. gosh. You know, I'm really surprised she's let us be this involved. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure if she's gonna let us get this close or not, but I think she felt better once we kinda got down here with her. He said, I want to see my baby. Good girl, Cora. Good girl. Cora just had puppy number five. And they're all singing. Good girl, Cora. Okay, so she started having these babies about 10.15, and now it is 3.15, and she's on baby number eight. Um, she just had one about maybe four or five minutes ago. We're going to let her finish drying it off, and uh, once she gets them dried off pretty good, we're going to try to start grabbing them, and uh, Rachel's out here with me still. We're going to try to grab them and uh, get them over here. Put them in here uh, we got the heater going um and then hopefully she'll come in here and then we're going to try to block off that right there because like i said earlier when uh we uh sh she went over there she had the first baby in here and then she went over there and started trying to have more and she was like two hours into trying to have the next one so we went ahead and grabbed the baby the first one from in here 
it moved it over there and she still wasn't having a baby so we brought it back over here to see if she'd come back to the box and she just immediately got up and come and grabbed it and took it back over there so whenever we grab these babies and put them in this whelping box we're going to take this piece of plywood here and put it against there so try to block that off and hopefully she won't move the babies again but I don't know if she just had another one or what. But anyways, we're on number eight now. And so far, so good. I know it's hard to see the colors and everything with this red heat lamp, but we're just trying to keep them as warm as we can. Okay, we're on baby number nine, and we tried to move all the babies over into the whelping box. And as soon as we did, she got up and she came in the welcome box and she immediately picked up the baby, started to move it. So we just went ahead and uh, moved them all. We did block off this corner where she had them and she was trying to go that way. And I had that piece of plywood right there. So her next move was to go through the gate and she was going to take the babies out into the middle of the barn. So we said, OK, that's the worst case scenario. Let's open it back up. And uh, we tried to block off. As much as we could, I got some straw bales, made a little wall right there, and uh, she wanted to be back in the spot where she had all the babies and she felt safe. Um, we got water out here for her. Rachel held the bucket up down there and she drank quite a bit, so that's a good thing. But uh, I think she's done. Um, we're gonna watch her for a while more just to make sure. It's now 3:34 and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, AM, as you can't tell. And I'm using my cell phone. I didn't even have time to grab the camera earlier whenever I noticed she was starting to have the baby on the camera. I just ran out here. But uh, we got the camera set up in the barn so we can kind of keep an eye on them throughout the night and such. Um, like I said, it is, I think it's like 15 degrees right now. So that's not good. But uh, you guys know the dangers of heat lamps. We got straw everywhere. And uh, we're not going to take that risk of putting a heat lamp in here for them because it's just too dangerous. We'll burn the whole barn down. Everybody will die. The goats will die. And uh, so it's too much of a risk. But uh, with nine baby puppies like this and uh, a big uh, mom, I think they will stay pretty warm. They're doing a very good job cuddling. So I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, we've seen, I'm pretty sure we've seen just about all of them latch on and get some milk it's it's almost impossible to tell for sure but we'll let nature take its course and you know usually the babies and the mama knows best and by instinct they know exactly what to do they go looking for the teat immediately after they come out it is ironic but that's pretty much what's happened so she, so far she's been cleaning up every one of them she's been taking turns she flips them upside down cleans their bottom cleans them all over dries them off real good gets them warm and it seems like they start sucking better so we're just gonna say it sit out here for a little bit longer and make sure everything's good and then uh we'll try to go get some sleep and come back out first thing in the morning so there you go as of 4 a.m uh cora had nine puppies um i did I went, we, went, we went back in the house and uh, fell asleep for about an hour and a half or so and I came back out first thing this morning and checked on her again but they were all just cuddling, they were, they were nursing and she was all just cuddled around them, they, were, they looked so warm so I didn't want to get her up to uh, mess that up because they were all kind of latched on and nursing off of her. So I'm just now coming out to actually give her some food and uh, it went, it went okay. Um, Except for the first baby come and then another one didn't come for like two and a half hours. So that was a, a little weird. But Leesky is a proud dad. Look, he's, Dad, did you tell everyone on YouTube we got babies? Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to show them. We're going to show them an update video. All right. Yeah, he's a good boy. And guys, he did, he did really good. He didn't hardly leave her side last night. He stayed there with her and uh, kept the goats away from her. She didn't want him too close, and she let him know. And uh, he he respected her. As soon as she growled and everything, he would back off. All right, Cora, I got some food for you, baby girl. You want to eat? Huh? I got some warm food, and some dry food, and some canned food. 
So Rachel and I stayed out here, you know, oh gosh, we were out here from 10 o'clock till after four o'clock. So I guess six hours. And uh, we tried to set this up as best as we could. You guys know I spent time making all this box and everything. And whenever we moved her over here, she just did not want any part of it. She grabbed the babies and moved them all right back over here. Well, she started to move some of them back over here, so me and Rachel just helped her to save her the trip. But anyways, um, hopefully as soon as I open this canned food, she'll uh, smell it and come eat. She didn't eat much yesterday, so that's why I knew I was, had a pretty good idea. Thanks to you guys. Uh, we got a lot of viewers that has experience in raising these puppies. Um, you guys said if she don't eat, when she starts getting close, like really close that day, she's probably not going to have an appetite. Well, yesterday was the first day that she really didn't eat hardly anything. You guys seen the video? I gave her the egg. She ate like maybe a couple licks of it and she was done. She wanted to go be by herself. So anyways, um, it's went as good as it can. Um, like I said, the last check, 4 a.m., she had nine, but I come back out, you know, about 6.30 or so, checked her. I don't know how many she has for sure. She could have had another one or maybe two or three more. I don't know. We thought she was done. We stayed out here for about another hour after the last baby just to make sure she didn't have any more, uh, whatever it's called. I can't even think. I'm so tired. <sighs> Contractions. There you go. Get my brain work. I need to go get another cup of coffee. But anyways, Cora, you want to come eat, baby girl? Your puppies are beautiful. Yes, you got some silver ones. You got some brindle ones. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. This one right here is almost silver looking. There is a beautiful baby. They're all beautiful little babies. So I, I didn't really want to try to count them yet, but if I can get her up to eat, we'll try to count them and take a closer look. Yeah, there's a pretty girl. There's a good mama. Her did very good. Yeah, her did very good. So it looks like we got colors of both Cora, Leesky, and I'm not sure about this one. It almost looks completely gray. I don't even know if that's a brindle. I don't know if I've ever seen a dog, um, an Anatolian that color. I'm sure there is. I just haven't seen one in person. A lot of them have little white socks on, little boots. Yep, they're cute little puppies. Look at them. Oh, she's cleaning one up right there. That one almost looks kind of like it's brown, like a buckskin color. And I'm just praying that she's not laying on any. You know, um, I can't thank you guys. Rachel and I both can't thank you guys enough. Like I said, we love doing YouTube because we learn just as much from you guys as you guys say you learn from us on some of this stuff. Um, we're new to the puppies, so we asked for you guys' advice. You guys told me all about the little little sideboards to put up in the whelping box so the babies can kind of get it under them and she don't roll over and squish them. Well, I did that, but the way nature works sometimes has a mind of its own. She didn't want no part of uh, having the babies in there. She wanted to have them out here, even though she did have the first one in there. So, I mean, it is what it is. We tried to move them, tried to do what's best, and I might try to move them again. Um, the weather is, thank God, the weather is actually supposed to warm up today, and it's supposed to be like in the 40s the next couple days with some rain. We'll take it because when she had them, it was like 15 degrees or whatever it was. So, anyways, enough, enough gabbing. Let me, uh, let me see if she'll come eat. We'll see if she'll leave her babies for just a little bit. I got you some water over there too with the heater plugged in. Looky here, girl. Got you an egg. Got you canned food. I know you're hungry. You gotta be hungry. Oh, she's smelling. Come here, girl. That all in. Here, here we got some birds up there in the barn. You want some food? I got you two cans. You need all the extra nutrition you can get, girl. Nine babies, that's a bunch. All right, it's nice and warm. Mix it all in here. This is just your breakfast. I'll feed you more after a while. Hopefully you'll eat. Oh, that looks good. Looks good, sis. All right, you want your egg? 
Come on, come get your egg. I know you love eggs. Yeah, I know you love eggs. All right, that looks yummy. Okay, here she comes. Look at this. Ooh, look at that, girl. Good girl. Here's baby girl. Pretty girl. Yeah, she's hungry, guys. Let's, let's take a closer look at these babies. Okay, that looks like more than nine. Maybe eight. I mean, you guys see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She had ten babies. She slipped one out after we left. And I do think that is a little buckskin colored one. I don't know. Maybe this is a good time to try to move the babies. What do you guys think? We can try it. And if she don't like it, we can move them back. But she's got all different colors in there, for sure. Sissy, you want me to try and move your babies for you? Huh? That's not the most ideal spot. Let's see what she does here. They're very warm, thankfully. Oh, come here, girl. Come here. Come eat. It's okay. Okay. Come here. Let's move your babies to better spots. Come on. Sound like a little wolf. Here, sis. Come here. Let's move your babies. I think you like it better than the box. Look, here's your babies. Come get them. There you go. Get in there with them. They're okay. Get in there with them, baby. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Okay, she says no. Not approved. Okay. I try. I try. Maybe we'll wait another day or two. See if you guys can get a close up here. Cute little babies. Baby Leesky and Cora. Okay. Make sure we got all of them. This one has four white little boots. Oh, barking at me, girl. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to try. I'll put your food over here. If you want some more, you got it. Alright. Ooh. You looking forward to this, Mr. Leesky? He's like, I don't know what I'm getting into, Dad. They didn't let me sleep at all last night. You're a good boy. You did good, buddy. You didn't bother her too much, either. Okay, Cora. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you, baby. It's time to help you, baby girl. <sighs> yeah, so I really don't know about the colors yet. It's still hard to tell. And um, if you guys know, if you don't know, Cora is an Anatolian Shepherd and so is Leesky. They're both full Anatolian Shepherds. She is a short-haired or a smooth 
haired brindle and uh, he is a long haired brindle she's a lighter gray and he's a darker brown and black but anyways um that's what we got going on so uh i'll uh i'll probably i'll probably bring the video back out here in a little bit and um there's her water got a heated bucket so she's got nice warm water it don't freeze and uh, of course we still got the cameras out here to kind of keep an eye on them a little better I'm gonna go get another camera and move it so I can uh, watch them real close but so far so good they're all alive they all had fat little tummies on them and to my surprise there was an extra one when I got out here so uh like I said, I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that many babies. I guess seven, and I was thinking, really, she probably only would have had four being a first-time mom. But ten babies, that was a nice surprise. I say nice surprise, it was a surprise. But anyways, the number one thing is they're all healthy. Core is healthy. So far, so good. They survived the cold night. We kept the heat lamp on them long as we could didn't want to leave it in here in case fire danger and all that type of stuff when you got dogs and you got goats you can't really do that stuff because it is very dangerous anyways that's another story but we'll keep an eye on her um i'll kind of leave uh i'll leave the whelping box and all that open so if she decides she wants to take them in there maybe she can um i know sometimes dogs will move their babies around a couple times you know but anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check all the other animals, make sure everybody's good. And then uh, we'll come back in a little bit and check on her again. And thank you guys so much for all the support. We've had a uh, overwhelming uh, group of viewers just tune into all these videos about Cora. Everybody leaving positive comments and tips and everything. And for my family to yours, thank you guys so much. That is why we love our Hidden Heights Farm family. And uh, Cora, if you need anything, just look up at the camera and say, Dad, or bark or something, okay? I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, fast forward a few more hours later. I'm going to come out and I'm going to go ahead and go feed Mojo and uh, the other animals in the front yard and see what Mr. Mojo thinks about being an uncle. He hasn't got to meet the babies yet, of course, but... Uh, Skeeter, he came out and uh, him and Mojo both could hear the babies kind of crying from outside of the barn. So I think they're excited. But anyways, let's grab some food. We'll head to the front pasture and check on uh, Weirdo Yoshi and uh, see what he's up to today. It is a cold day. It's supposed to warm up into the 30s today but man it sure don't feel like it we are supposed to get some ice tonight some freezing rain what do you know mr mojo huh what do you know buddy well everybody wants to know how's it feel to have puppies on the farm huh guess what do you realize right now we got uh 13 14 dogs on the farm yeah i'm not impressed i'm the oldest of course and the smartest i know how to shake i'm hungry it's cold but i like this weather but Cora did a good job i heard i could hear the puppies from outside the barn i i knew there was 10 because i could hear them all oh there's mr smeagol smeagol so funny story smeagol what do you think about being a new uncle Huh? He liked it. So funny story. Come on, let's go eat. Y'all. We can walk and talk. Funny story. Last night, Rachel and I was out in the barn. We kept hearing something, and we were quiet for a minute and kept listening. And it was Smeagol trying to get into the barn. He was trying to climb up that wood door right next to where the puppies are. He was very curious. He kept climbing up it, trying to peek in uh, little cracks. At one time, I think he was actually up on the barn. I don't know. Those mama goats don't like him in the barn, so he knows better than to uh, actually get in there. All right. Smeagol, you gonna come eat your chicken food, buddy? Hey, Yoshi. You gonna be normal today, buddy? No more chasing me? 
Okay, sounds good. Here it goes. Right, let me in there, girl. Let me in there, girl. Alright, come on. Surely you guys don't like this dumped on your head. Okay, so the chicken cat strikes again. Look at him. I told you guys. Look at this. Chicken cat. He's so goofy, Dad. I don't know about Smeagol sometimes. He just tried to get your tail. But. <laughs> that is funny. They're good buddies. Don't get, don't get them wrong. They're good buddies. They, they keep each other warm on these cold winter days, don't you know? He's like, okay, Dad, quit talking. Let's eat. It's cold. I don't want to be out here any longer than you want to be. I hear you. I got you a nice egg. You want your egg? Hmm? Here, watch out. Here comes that goofy emu, the weird emu. Okay, see this? I made a big mistake a while ago. That's, oh, that ain't the weirdo. That's that's your egg. Okay, so uh, come on, walk, walk, walk. So I made a mistake a while ago. Whenever I was feeding Cora, I busted that egg and I forgot to put the eggshell in there. Right now, um, she needs extra calcium. It's important for lactating. Mama dogs, any animal really, but especially for these mama dogs with 10 babies, it's very important they get enough um, calcium to supplement all the milk they're producing and stuff like that. So I actually got to go to the store and get some more cottage cheese. I didn't have any this morning to mix in with her food, but that is a, a good supplement um, to mix in for some extra calcium. Something else you can do, I guess, is some Tums. Um, we're getting a lot of messages and stuff from you guys, so thank you guys so much again. And here's Mr. Weirdo. We're not gonna do this again. Hey, hey. No, can't do this again. I gotta go check for eggs, because Miss Cora definitely, she uh, definitely loves her raw eggs, and those raw eggs will be uh, transferred over to the babies through the milk, and that, uh, that will help shine their coats up, give them some pretty hair. And no eggs over here. Miss Goose is still setting some egg right there. We'll take it. It's still early, so we'll come back later and check for more eggs, I guess. But yeah, um, nutrition right now is a big, big, big help for uh, Miss Cora. I couldn't imagine trying to take care of 10 little babies at once. That is uh, pretty crazy. So I'm gonna wrap things up over here and uh, we'll go feed uh, Lieski. Cora's already got food. We'll go check on her again before we end the video and uh, see uh, how the feeding goes with the goats and uh, Lieski since Cora's in the barn. And don't forget, um, in the last video, you guys see me fill up the creep feeder for the kid goats. And I can see there is a uh, bigger goat in there getting her fill of food. Oh, I hear Cora crying over there. All right, Lisky, let me feed these goats real quick. Let me feed these goats and I'm gonna feed you, buddy. And we'll see if Cora needs a potty break because right now I have it where she can't get out because we wanted to make sure Quick, and I'll come back and check on Cora. Come on, Lisa, you want to go eat? Come on, Squeak. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Lisa, man. Come on. Yeah. 
Here you go, buddy. Look here. You get a nice big chicken egg. I'm gonna give this the core, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's go back in here. So, I'll show you guys what I did to keep core from getting out and from the other boat from getting in and bothering her. You guys know the video I did, I think it was the last one with Mr. Bo. He kept bothering her and that was very disturbing. I don't want to go through that again, so. He can't get through here, but Cora can get through this little door right here, so we'll keep it closed. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Hey, sis, how's it going? Huh? You okay? Her's a good girl. Yes, her is. Look at your pretty babies. You did so good, everybody's so proud of you. Oh, she said, here guys, I'll give you a sugar. She gave all y'all sugar, said thank you for all the support. Yeah, you got some pretty babies. So all in all, this isn't the most ideal place to have the babies, but that's where she wants them, and uh, I can't change her mind. I'm not gonna stress her out. So it is what it is. We're gonna, you know, just keep praying that the babies are good. She don't lay on any of them, nothing like that. They're all eating good. Um, here's a question. Another question I got for you uh, dog people. Um, I don't know much about puppies, but whenever a mom dog has puppies, is there not usually a runt? I haven't really researched this either. I thought there was usually a runt in the larger litters, litters. and uh, are the runts usually quite a bit smaller than the last, and are the runts usually the last ones that come out? That's a question for you. You can leave us a comment down below if you don't mind. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. So how many different colors do you guys think we have here? I'm gonna say we got a few of Cora's colors. We got several of Lisky's colors and maybe a buckskin and maybe a really gray one. I'm not real sure, but she's being a good mama, that's for sure. Cora, super proud of you, girl. I'm proud of you. She's been a good mom. And they're all nice and warm. Everybody's nice and warm. Thankfully, we got this nice barn and all this straw to keep everybody warm. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to be able to take her into the house and, uh, you know, have a heated or cooled condition, whatever you need. But on these type of dogs, they would never go for it. She would be stressing out to the max, um, not being her element. This is her house, and uh, this is her family. She's used to the goats. She's used to Leesky. She's used to being outside, and uh, you can't you can't really take these dogs and put them in your house now. In extreme extreme circumstances, you know, if it was way below zero and there was a blizzard out here, and as soon as these babies are going to be born, they're going to freeze or something, then you would do something like that. But otherwise. You know, a little bit of cold. These dogs are descendants of wolves. I'm not going to get into all this, but you guys know they are very tough. Very tough. So, she's doing good. She's first time mama, and by instinct, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. She made a nest right there for him in the straw. She's keeping them all warm. Um, she's been laying on them, pretty much. When I say laying on them, she kind of covers them up with her body, but, but no weight on them. She kind of puts her head and her legs over them and uh she's doing awesome so anyways so and i know you guys are going to want to know hey are you going to keep any of these we don't know yet if we're going to keep any um we will be selling some for sure so if you guys are interested in any of these puppies you can email us at hidden heights farm at gmail.com and uh, we got a waiting list but uh i don't know just email us if you're interested and uh, we'll, ha we'll have some uh, criteria you'll have to meet if you guys are wanting one for sure. And um, I'll email you guys back a price, all that type of stuff. Anyways, just try to address that. I'm not going to make this video about that by no means. Because we're not in the puppy breeding business, but we got 10 baby puppies and I don't know if we're going to keep any. So anyways, um, guys, once again, thanks uh, for all the support from my family to you. Thank you so much. And I uh, hope you guys are staying warm. And thank you guys for all the tips. 
And uh, we are so blessed to have Cora have all 10 of these beautiful puppies with no problems. And uh, hopefully it continues that way. And uh, we'll be praying for some sunshine and some warmer temperatures. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave us a comment down below. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.